it's a heavyweight championship fight between Jan Blachowicz and Conor McGregor. The stars have aligned, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two-division champion, Conor McGregor, as such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare-down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the buildup, when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought, that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Introducing the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor. Champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 27 wins, 8 losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, do you think 
Thoughts have taken this fight to the ground. They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the three takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Nice punch by Connor. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Oh, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. How good is that right hand? And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by McGregor. Checks the leg kick. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Blahovich. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Head kick. All right, single collar tie now. Real quick leg kick. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Round two next. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he could see almost everything coming in this direction. He's so well versed. He's so skilled. Over the top, this fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more ball. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. What a punch. So as we call on the numbers here, 47 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. And just 42% accuracy in terms of the land rate. That is a 
Kinnison gets on the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. This guy has the opponent hurt very bad, Ricky. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, Hovich's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. And he landed the right hand there. Big leg kick land. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Such a diverse striker, but he's very oh. good. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Leg kick. Big punch land. Ooh. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. That was awesome, okay? You really hurt him there. You knocked him down, he's almost ready to go, okay? This round, I want him out of there. Ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. Good punch. Head kick lands. Wahovich going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. 75 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Just below 50% now in terms of the accuracy rate, landing 46% tonight against Jan Bohovic. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Lunges forward with a left there. Just unable to quite find that range. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Just over three minutes to go. Single collar tie now. Yeah, no problem getting inside. Thunderous leg kick rounds as he loaded it. He's trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the conclusion. Johnny hurt. Hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Visibly limping here. And they separate. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Wahovich gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red card. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on it. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent and tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. It's broken, I think. Come on, man, let's get that takeout, 
Oh, huge block! Oh, a little single collar tie there. Ten seconds to go. Good stick. That was a thudding leg kick. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Strike there by Blahovich. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Let's get busy with those hands. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the direction of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. McGregor gets up. He is back on the feet here. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. McGregor's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slump. Blahovic is right back to the full mount here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. Looks like he's trying for submission now. And attack an arm bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. And now he falls back into the finishing position. Submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 29 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, and still! Still the baddest man on the planet, and now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight, and now celebrates with his corner after just a monumental performance here tonight. I'm not sure we've ever seen him perform more cleanly or more efficiently than he did here tonight. Your heavyweight champion, and still a winner by submission tonight.